So I'll tell it through a story. Think of the falling of the Berlin Wall. Okay, what happened that night? Well, the story of that night is that somebody who was a press attaché of the East German regime during a press conference gets a piece of paper sent by the Politburo, stuck in his hip, hip pocket, didn't have a chance to read it. And then there's a question you know, about, what about the travel policy? And he says, well, wait a minute, I just got a piece of paper. Let me read it. And it's a complicated paragraph. And it's not quite clear what it means. Well, I guess that means the wall is open. He gets off, goes home, has dinner, goes to bed. And then he wakes up three hours later and there's lots and lots of cars, lights streaming towards the wall and he suddenly realized what has happened. This is our conventional understanding of how the Berlin Wall opened. It was a set of flukes, basically. Right? But that's only one story. That's what I call protein power. You know, somebody then at the border, you know, calls up his superior and says, oh, these people are saying the wall is open. What the hell are we supposed to do? Nobody picks up the phone. Somebody picks up the phone and says, I don't know. So in the end, the guy says, well, I'll just open the wall. Right? There was another story, and that's a story which we all sort of understand, but nobody tells it. The East Germans were running out of money. The only thing they had was Soviet oil, which they refined and sold to the West. Nobody wanted to buy their stuff. Okay? But increasingly, from 1985 on, the Soviets say, we don't have any oil to give to yet preferred prices. So they had to make a deal with the West Germans. And they actually had decided to open the wall by the end of the year to get a preferential deal from the Germans for more credits. Now that second story is the conventional wisdom. That is how world politics works. But in fact, we all believe the first story, right? The one which I'm telling in my book, Protein Power. Neither of these stories is true in and by themselves. It's the interaction of both stories. And that's the basic point of the, of the book. Okay? So what's nice about this illustration is that many people actually believe what the book says, the protein power story. But they've convinced themselves that that's the wrong argument. 